The first casualty of war is truth. The second is hope. And while truth may be easy to regain, hope remains elusive. More so for Somalia, where 20 years of civil war have not only destroyed livelihoods, but also decimated the sense of hope and the prospect of a better future. Amidst all this stands a beacon of hope, a pillar of academic excellence, a reservoir of dreams and free thought. A university. A diamond in the rough. In September 1997, Mogadishu University opened its doors for the first time in a city cowing in fear from sporadic shelling and where safety, let alone education, could not be guaranteed. With the mere presence of four of the founding members and just five teaching staff, the institution's first campus was first opened in the disused premises of a former secondary school. True to the reality on the ground, local militia took over the university campus, forcing the university to relocate to the newly renovated Sinai Hotel. Changing times indeed bring with them a lot of things. In the midst of Somalia's most notorious city, Mogadishu, the dream of establishing a private university not only thrived, but also became a success story told all over the world. Mogadishu University started offering academic programs that include Sharia and law, nursing, political science and mass media, computer science and information technology, economics and management sciences, alongside establishing a faculty of education which had five departments and the faculty of arts and humanities which had four sections. With the trickling in of students and the graduation of Somalia's first post-war university graduates came the commencement of postgraduate programs which came in the form of partnership programs with friendly universities. Varsities like Sudan's Omdurman University and Open University of Malaysia were contracted to offer 10 specializations in postgraduate diploma, master's degree and PhD. Four of these specializations are in education, two in Sharia and four programs in management sciences. As an institution of free thought, whose main mission was to instill hope in the Somali society, impaired by the civil war, the university opened institutes and centers directed at reviving community-based initiatives while serving as a think tank to identify solutions to Somalia's post-conflict period of reconstruction and development. Institute for Somali Studies, ISOS, Center for Community Programs and Continuing Education, Somali Center for Water and Environment, and the Center for Research and Training are high among these centers. This continued vigor has seen the university established bilateral links with universities across Africa, Asia, Europe, and the United States. Mogadishu University also joined four regional higher education organizations and created links with UN agencies like UNESCO. In 2001, the university embarked on a project that was to create one of the biggest campuses in Somalia. Dubbed the University City, sitting on an 18-acre piece of land, the completion of this scheme will be yet another milestone in the provision of quality education in Somalia. In 2008, the university opened its new campuses in Bosaso, in the semi-autonomous region in northeastern Somalia. And in one of its biggest achievements ever, the Webometric Ranking of World Universities 
put Mogadishu University as one of the best 100 universities in Africa. A lot has been done, but even more needs to be done. For Mogadishu University, the journey has just begun. Amidst the confusion and terror of war, Mogadishu University remains steadfast in its resolve to provide quality and affordable education. And indeed, education which has propelled its graduates to the higher echelons of both the corporate world and in humanitarian organizations. Many of them are now key decision makers in successful companies and relief agencies that are transforming the future of Somalia. In a new generation, I am a deal can also be had the null. The Casos of the Intaba, in La Barra in a Wahbertan, Nolashona Aitai Wahbarasho, Daka Wahbaranina, Innocent Aduyada, Wahaka of Sankarin, La Barra, Jahaliga, Yahbarashal Ant, Nipta Eleda La Barra. For the young women and men who attend this university, it is more than just classrooms and teachers. Rather, it has become a family, a haven of peace, and indeed, a beacon of hope. Caught in the flying shrapnel and choking dust, the institution continues to bequeath to its students the opportunity to dream and to achieve. Like a desolate lighthouse, it continues to give guidance to students shipwrecked by sporadic gun battles and elusive peace. It is a role the university has been proud of playing. Entering its second decade now, it continues to mold a generation of peacemakers, thinkers, and intellectuals who aspire to create a better tomorrow. To attain its endeavors, Mogadishu University has developed an extensive network of partners and friends who provide the needed encouragement and support that it needs to make it through the treacherous journey. It continues to play its pivotal role of creating dialogue and an alternative way to Somalia's development, the path of education. Yet, even more friends and partners are needed to join this parade, to restore hope, broken dreams and ambitions, and to encourage innovation, free thought and progress. While the darkest hour may be before dawn, even that dark hour can be illuminated by the energy of academia and the intensity of scholarship. Mogadishu University leads the way in attaining this. Towards a better future is the emblem of the university. It is a goal that must be achieved at all costs.